109-year-old spent his final years knitting tiny sweaters for injured penguins. At 109 years of age, Alfred, Alfie, date, had more than enough reasons to spend the remainder of his days living the most relaxed life guilt-free. However, date, the oldest person on Australia at that point in time, chose to use his free time putting out some good into the world and he found the most adorable way to do so. Putting his generous and still nimble fingers to good use, the centenarian volunteered to use his knitting skills to help protect little penguins exposed to oil spills, which prevent them from staying dry. According to Daily Mail, Date began knitting in 1932 when his sister-in-law taught him how to knit a jumper for his newborn nephew. Although he probably never expected to be able to one day use the skill to knit sweaters for penguins, life had other plans for him. Hours after moving to his new retirement home in Umina on the central coast of New South Wales, he heard about the Knits for Nature program, which invited knitting enthusiasts to make tiny jumpers for oil spill affected penguins. I think I've been in here about 12 hours, might have been 13. The two girls' nurses come in to me and say, We believe you can knit. Date, who passed away in 2016, said in a previous interview. Launched by Phillip Island's Penguin Foundation, the Knits for Nature program helps a big role in rehabilitating penguins exposed to oil spills as the jumpers act as a barrier to prevent the penguin from reaching its oily feathers with its beak before rescue staff is able to wash it clean. Aside from being fatal for penguins when ingested, the oil also damages their delicate feathers, exposing their skin to cold temperatures. This leaves them cold, heavy and unable to swim or hunt for food. So little penguin jumpers act as a rehabilitation tool. They're temporarily placed on the penguin and it stops them cleaning off, Penguin Foundation officer Lauren Barker told the Australian Broadcasting Company in a 2019 interview. The last oil spill happened here in 2001 and it affected 438 little penguins, she explained. Thankfully, 96% of them were successfully released and penguin rehabilitation jumpers played quite a big part in that. Date got to work soon after hearing about the program, knitting adorable little stitch jerseys for the birds and making sure that his creations are of the utmost quality. I like to make it without mistakes and I don't excuse myself for doing it, but I think there is an excuse for a person who's gone beyond the normal span of life, he said. Date explained at the time that he's never been able to say no to helping those in need and often gets roped into projects for friends and family. The girls who used to work for me, they'll tell you I'm a sucker, I can't say no. It's a good way of getting along in life. You make friends all the time. But you don't make a fool of yourself either, he said. Although the Penguin Foundation was initially unaware of his oldest person in Australia's status, when he started contributing, the nonprofit made up for it by officially naming him their most senior little penguin jumper knitter. Deneen Jones, a spokesperson for the foundation, said that they were privileged to have the centenarian aiding their efforts. Phillip Island Nature Park's wildlife rehabilitation officer, Jody Bellett, revealed that the program has been an incredible success. There's been lots of patterns and amazing creativity that's come out of these donations. Some of them have been exuberant. We've had capes, neckties, and all sorts of things which are wonderful and really do well in the sales department, but not so much for our little penguins that are oiled," she said. Explaining how the process works, Penguin Foundation coordinator Jacqueline Alves Ferreira said, People email me and express their interest in knitting some jumpers for the foundation, and I'll send them the patterns and they'll send me the completed jumpers. Once they've sent them, I'll sort them, and if they're suitable for penguin rehabilitation, I'll send them over to the penguin hospital. If they're not suitable but they're really nice and colorful, then I'll keep those for the kids or to sell them in retail stores," she added. There are a few costumes that we've had sent in with little wings and tutus, and even come with a wand. My favorite's a teddy bear onesie with teddy bear ears and a little hoodie.